Here is the thumbnail for our previous video, which is a compilation of 51 ladies reacting to the same 20 second song clip. In this video, using still shots only, we'll describe the production design choices the ladies made, so you can decide which features to include or avoid when making your own videos. There was once a movie producer who applauded at the end of every movie premiere he attended, regardless of how good or bad the movie was, because he recognized how much time and money and labor it took to produce any film. Likewise, all 51 ladies we're about to discuss deserve credit for producing their own reaction videos. Keep in mind, we'll be showing usually only a frame or two, taken from a 20 second clip, itself extracted from a three minute performance, which was embedded in a longer enclosing reaction video. Anything we point out about a given frame might not apply to the original entire reaction video. Let's begin. Lady number one is unique in framing her video and displaying her channel name, although it's difficult to read. The background is blank and featureless, which only four other ladies also choose to do. Her line of sight is directly at the performer, then turns to you for reactions. Lady number two's line of sight is at her phone. She not only uses a red background, the entire shot has a red tint, so much so that she's easy to pick out as the most red-faced person in the thumbnail. Her head moves enough to hide her behind the performance clip. Lady number three is centered horizontally, but not vertically. Her line of sight is down center while viewing, the performance clip is upper left, and her reaction is directed center left. Lady number four is unique for her translucent sidebars. Lady number five is unique for her three pop-ups. She uses many more in her complete reaction video. Our compilation video has a disjointed cut in the middle of her reaction because she inserted one and a half minutes of commentary. Lady number six demonstrates pausing and hiding the video before she makes a comment. A temporarily hidden clip makes it hard to discuss anything visual in the performance clip itself, such as costumes or dance moves. She repeats herself during her verbal reaction, making it longer than necessary. Lady number seven is the second to use a featureless background. Her line of sight is to her lap, so her facial reaction appears somewhat compressed. Her hand-waving body language gets hidden behind the performance clip. Lady number eight is almost in complete profile, which makes her facial reactions half hidden. Her headphones are so huge you can read the model number. She's unique by including her kitchen and bookcase. Like eight ladies to follow, the top of her head is just out of frame. She's the first of five ladies to include their Instagram handle. Lady number nine is partially hidden behind the performance clip and the first of two ladies to show idle lighting equipment in the background. Note how many of the ladies center themselves in the frame without planning for the size and position of the performance clip, then add the clip in post-production resulting in a crammed or overlapped composition. Putting the clip in one half of the screen and reacting from the other half will generally make it easier to avoid collisions. The centering issue happens so much, we'll just refer to it as a centering collision from now on. Lady number 10's head is cropped. Like lady six, she hides the performance clip during her comments. Lady number 11 is unique with a diffuse lighting or soft focus effect and the first of two ladies to include a mirror in the shot. The performance clip is not directly embedded. Instead, it's a camera shot of a display screen, which results in an unfortunate reflection. Lady number 12 uses an extreme camera angle that shows the ceiling, even the smoke detector. The top of her head is cropped. Everything forefront in frame is pushed a bit to the left. When she pauses the clip, the performance remains on screen, although it fills with icons and hides her hand movements. Lady number 13's line of sight is to the base of the performance clip, which uses the largest knockout frame for any reaction video by far, so her head is blocked by the clip. Lady number 14 apparently likes graphics, so her blouse and background are among the busiest. Lady number 15 is another featureless background user and the performance clip is positioned above her line of sight. Lady number 16 is another featureless background user. She generally always looks at the camera, which gives the impression she's reacting only to the audio and not the video. 
Lady number 17 has some of the best facial expressions in body language, but she's so cropped at the top and sides that much of her is hidden. Lady number 18 is also very demonstrative, but has a centering collision. Lady number 19 is the only one to use a different black and white version of the performance, with a slower beat and lower resolution. Her body language and facial expressions give the impression she's trying to make out the words being sung. She's the first of three to include the video editor brand. Lady number 20 has a unique pose, and her verbal reactions and body language are also unusual, but has a centering collision. Lady number 21 has quite a few objects in the background, almost like a retail store. She's the second and last lady to include a mirror, possibly just for lighting, since no movement is reflected. Lady number 22 is unique in that she's the only one eating during her video, and she only includes an album cover, not a video clip, implying that she's only reacting to the audio, not the visual performance. The large song title is not the song being played. This is the second lady to prominently include her ceiling. Lady number 23 uses a darker than typical room and is the only lady to display a subscribe plea, which is animated. She also includes her Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat handles. Although she's centered in the frame, the performance clip is small enough not to substantially collide. Lady number 24 is always looking directly at the camera, so this might be an audio-only reaction. Again, a small performance clip avoids a noticeable collision. Lady number 25 is the only one to display substantial cleavage and uniquely uses a color version of the performance, plus an ocean view. Her head is slightly cropped. Lady number 26 has a significant centering collision and is the second of the two ladies showing idle lighting equipment in the background. Lady number 27 perfectly aligns her line of sight with the corner of the performance clip. Lady number 28 has a centering collision. Holding the earphone restricts her body language. Lady number 29 is the only one to use a split screen, which actually hides momentarily while she reacts to the camera. She gives an enthusiastic thumbs up, but much of it is hidden because of the extreme close-up. Lady number 30's performance clip volume is so low as to be hard to hear. She's the only one to include a text and emoticon reaction pop-up. Her Instagram handle is included. Lady number 31's line of sight is down and center, parallel to the performance clip. The background seems somewhat cluttered and random. Lady number 32's performance clip volume was so loud and distorted, it was the only one that had to be filtered down a few decibels for inclusion in the original compilation video. This is another ceiling shot example. Lady number 33 includes her Instagram handle and video editor brand. The performance clip seems to be placed low with a lot of blank space above. Lady number 34 is backed up close to a wall, so the high picture-in-picture -picture gives the effect of a wall-mounted TV. There appears to be a corner icon, but it is not her channel name. Lady number 35 displays her Instagram and TikTok handles, stands inside a halo effect, and uses a phone-watching pose. Lady number 36 has a graphic background that somewhat camouflages the outline of her body. There is a slight cropping of her head, possibly so her subscribe to my channel t-shirt is more visible, although pulling the camera back a bit would fix both. Lady number 37 is unique for drinking while listening. Ladies 38 and 39 are unique in being the only duo to appear. They have a centering collision. Lady number 40 has an exact line of sight to the corner of the performance clip. Everything in lady number 41's frame is shoved to the left. Even the performance clip is partially out of frame. Lady number 42 has great facial expressions, but her body language is clamped by having to hold her earphones. She has a centering collision. Lady number 43 is another centering collision. The background would be featureless except for the thermostat. Lady number 44 is unique in that she's the picture-in-picture -picture and the performance clip is full screen, which guarantees her reaction is likely to be hiding some portion of the performance. The video editor brand is shown. Lady number 45 is unique by including her fireplace in the shot. Of all the ladies, she is positioned farthest from the camera, so her body takes the least screen space, yet there is still a centering collision. Lady number 46 has a very overexposed right half to the shot, and two-thirds of her from the neck down is hidden behind the performance clip, 
not just because of a centering collision, but also because the picture-in-picture -picture knockout is much wider than the width of the actual performance clip. Lady Number 47's performance clip has a low volume, and her own voice is initially at a whisper level, giving the impression she doesn't want anyone in the house to hear what she's doing. Lady Number 48's line of sight would be perfect if the performance clip were positioned just a little lower. Lady Number 49 uses a high and close camera, putting her out of focus, although it might be an issue with the camera's autofocus setting. Lady Number 50 has a big yellow microphone that gives a pacifier effect. Everything is shoved down in the frame. Because she paused for a minute of commentary, this was the only other clip in our original compilation that has a disjointed cut. Lady number 51 is unique by using a contiguous textured background. Like the first lady, she reacts by turning and smiling direct to the camera. Thanks for watching and here's our email address. It's interesting to note that while email is the granddaddy of internet contact methods, and email has grown to be the primary identification method for all platforms, yet only nine of the 51 ladies post an email address on their channel page.